Part of the launch preparation for any Need for Speed game is to select cars that will do some of the marketing heavy lifting for that launch. Cars that exemplify the gameplay, style, and tone for that particular game. For Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, two of those cars were the Pagani Zonda Cinque and the Lamborghini Reventon Interceptor, and those made it onto the cover of our packaging. In the course of our partner meetings with Pagani and Lamborghini, we came up with the idea of doing a live-action shoot with these amazing supercars. To bring life to art, and then art back to life, if you will, in the context of the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit experience. That was the genesis of this film project. Recreate our packaging, exemplify the cop versus racer social competition of Hot Pursuit, and create something special for our fans and auto enthusiasts around the world that they had never seen before. Task one was to source these exclusive cars. For the filming, Pagani built a Cinque prototype out of their workhorse development Zonda, a process supervised entirely by Mr. Pagani himself, from start to finish. Creating the Zonda's exterior was only half the challenge, replicating its trademark Banshee Whale, one of the most unique and remarkable engine notes in the automotive world was done meticulously. Lamborghini provided us a beautiful LP640 Murcielago. Originally a slate gray, we sent it to Lamborghini's official body shop in Modena, Italy for cop lights and to be wrapped in its black and white Seacrest County Police Department livery. We shot in the Dolomites, the Alps in northern Italy. Not only was this good proximity to Pagani and Lamborghini headquarters, but it provided an absolutely stunning backdrop for these supercars and actually resembles parts of our fictional Seacrest County in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Behind the wheel of the Murcielago was Mark Hinarici, and piloting the Zonda was Mark Bessin. They are both race car drivers, but they're also known as two of the best stunt drivers in Europe. Them actually knowing each other was really important because of the communication and trust they needed to have to pull off some of the really aggressive moves in the video. For this project, we got one of the few production houses on the planet with hands-on Zonda experience, Renimation Studios, and director Robert Eder, who shot the official ad for the Zonda R earlier this year. Having seen his work, we knew he was the perfect guy to capture a true Need for Speed project. The people who work on the Need for Speed franchise all share a huge passion for cars. Every car in every game is thought through and put there deliberately. <laughs> Working with Pagani and Lamborghini and being able to bring this expression of our packaging art to life was unbelievably cool. I hope our Need for Speed fans and automotive fans worldwide enjoy this piece. And the next best thing to stunt driving at our shoot is to pick up Need for Speed Hopper suit and get behind the wheel yourself.